want to put today's jobs report in perspective. This morning, we learned that our economy created 266,000 jobs in April. It hadn't been adjusted again yet, but that's what it says, 266. And listening to commentators today, <laughs> as I was getting dressed, you might think that we should be disappointed. But when we passed the American Rescue Plan, I want to remind everybody, it was designed to help us over the course of a year, not 60 days, a year. We never thought that after the first 50 or 60 days, everything would be fine. Tens of thousands of restaurants and bars across the country. And by the way, the majority of the jobs that have come back have been in the entertainment and, 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 the, and, and, and those industries. Second, today's report is a rebuttal, the loose talk that Americans just don't want to work. I know some employers are having trouble filling jobs. But what this report shows is that there's a much bigger problem, notwithstanding the commentary you might have heard this morning. It is that our economy still has 8 million fewer jobs than when this pandemic started. The data shows that more, more workers, more workers are looking for jobs and many can't find them. Last month, there were 266,000 more Americans with dignity that comes for the job. There are over 400,000 schools and daycare centers with lead pipes that uh, the, where the, the, the water goes through. Let's build an economy that delivers dignity and gives everybody a chance. President, do you believe enhanced unemployment benefits had any effect on diminishing a return to work in some categories? No, nothing measurable. You walked out to the podium with your mask on. Why do you choose to wear a mask so often when you're vaccinated and you're around other people who are vaccinated? Because I'm worried about you. No, it's a joke. It's a joke. Why, why am I wearing the mask? Because when we're inside, it's still good policy to wear the mask. That's why. When I'm outside, and the problem is, lots of times I walk away from this podium, you notice I forget to put my mask back on because I'm used to not wearing it outside. Mr. President, are you at all concerned about Vladimir Putin amassing troops on the border of Ukraine? Do you see that as a message to you? And could it impact your desire to have a one-on-one -on -one meeting with him? It does not impact my desire to have the one-on-one -on -one meeting. And you notice he had more troops before. He's withdrawn troops. There's still troops amassed, but significantly less than he had a month ago. Mr. President, do you believe that the Iranians are serious about negotiation in Vienna? Yes, but how serious and what they're prepared to do is a different story, but there's, we're still talking. Sir, you had a question. I had to cut you yes, off. Do you have any update on whether you're, you'll be able to meet Vladimir Putin in June? Is, is that going to happen? I'm confident we'll be able to do it. We don't have any uh, a, a specific time or place. That's being worked on. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you.